Swarnali Acharya. I'm a cancer biologist at Columbia University at the Institute for Cancer Genetics. Cancer is sneaky, so it really uses and abuses the pathways that are there for normal cells and uses it for its own growth. So if we don't really study systemically what's going on with cancer and how it's spreading, how it's talking to different organs and other sites, we would almost miss the opportunity of treating long-term the cancer. Once the cells have escaped from the primary tumor and they are in the bloodstream and going to different organs, so that metastatic process is what my lab is studying. The Pershing Square Sohn Prize is allowing us to look at two very different aspects of metastatic disease. Oftentimes with the anti-cancer therapies, for example, chemotherapy causes extensive damage, there's fatigue, and part of it is actually because of the muscles that are wasting. There is an important aspect of muscle wasting seen in cancer, and um, this is the aspect that very key muscles, for example, what we need to breathe. There's also the heart muscles, which fail, and both are because of cachexia, which is the syndrome that occurs in cancer patients and leads to this muscle wasting. So what we have found is a very particular protein, which is not normally expressed in muscle cells, but when there is cancer, this induces the protein, and what that does is it actually allows extra zinc to get into the muscle cells. One way of approaching um, to prevent muscle wasting would be to use a targeted therapy that can actually block this type of muscle wasting. So that way we are not causing damage all over the body and we can combine that with less toxic chemotherapy. We are looking whether we can combine anti-cachexia therapy with the immunotherapy approaches. That can actually do two things, first prolong survival and also uh, better the quality of life, but also keep the cancer in check. So that way we can have a better prognosis. Cancer through circulation seems to be inducing this protein in the muscle. And um, if we can block that, we are seeing reversal. So that's why we think there is hope. Uh, if we can target that molecule, maybe we can have a better uh, survival in the patients. We were very happy that the foundation really chose us for our project. There are many patients who already have metastasis and we think there is hope there because if we are able to prevent this type of muscle wasting and then combine that with less toxic anti-cancer therapy, there is a huge potential there where they, they might live longer and also have a better quality of life. Mm -hmm.